Hello and welcome everybody to 1993 and 1995. If you guys remember the infomercials, these things were going to change the world. And you can hit these out of anywhere and you will hit playable shots onto the green. And in 1993, this one right here actually looked up the patent, the U.S. patent. In 1993, Pat Simmons applied for the patent and was awarded the patent in 1995. Now, that's normal pace, you know, for the patent office, two years, government pace. I'm kidding about the government. I know there's a lot of research to make sure that they're not stealing anybody else's patent. I get it. But was awarded the patent. So these really are ingenious designs. But are they revolutionary? Do they fill that promise of changing the face of golf? It's interesting. People say hindsight is 2020. So let's go have some 2020 on the review table. I wanted to show both versions here before we dive into it. There's the patent pending version, the early model, and then the patented version right here, two years later. 1993 for the early model, 1995 for the later model. Very interesting design. On the sole, the identifying marks of Alien Sport by Pat Simmons, the ultimate sand wedge. As we spin around, you'll see it there's some volume right here and then this is a painted portion back here on the aft of the club i'm glad that it's this painted color because we don't want it just to look homogenous that would be too much i think they did a good job i think making this balance out as we spin all the way around to the toe look at that profile very very interesting and then we have this huge colander for a face here look at all these fun dimples you can just see rows of them kind of alternate very interesting. It looks like there was a finish on there. There is obviously some wear going on here, which is what I always like to see on a club. It means it's well used. You can see a little bit of forgiveness in the leading edge. This huge anti-shank kink right here in the neck gives it a unique look. Very interesting how that flares out like that. Again, you have a huge volume here. Simmons with the patent pending. The patent number would be here on the patented version as you saw plain black ferrule we have a stepped shaft with an alien label right here lampkin i believe this is a penna wrap let's see if we can verify that here don't know if you'll be able to see but it says penna wrap lampkin so this is a big chunk of real estate let's see if we can find some sand to play in so here in the sand lots of confidence that was my very first shot i hit with it and it Feels great. A couple of these, I tried to flop that one up super high, just didn't get enough club speed, so that was me. That was, felt fine. I believe it's these, they're sitting in little divots. So I blade that one. You can see the next one kind of in a little divot. I should have come down really hard on it, but I just took a normal swing and bladed it, hit a tree. So it is possible to miss hit shots with this out of the sand and that one was fine i hit out of some very thick rough trying some flop shots i did a little chip shot where i closed the face a little bit tried to reduce some of the loft i was presenting to the golf ball i took a nice divot but it did exactly what i wanted it to do so overall when i was looking down at this club they have this big spatula-like face on it, which builds tons of confidence. I'm used to my normal Cleveland wedges. And when I look down at this, I'm like, oh, I can, I can easily hit this because it's so there's so much real estate. Down. They put acres of real estate down here on the face. The dimples add a nice cosmetic touch. I mean, frankly, it's just nostalgic and it reminds me of the 90s, the alien wedge seeing those infomercials. So did this revolutionize golf. We're looking at the future now, and we're looking at modern manufacturers. A lot of modern manufacturers, when you look at their full line of wedges, include a big, fat, massive sole. Yes, okay, they don't put dimples on their face. They put grooves on their face now. But they do include clubs that look an awful lot like this. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Maybe because it was an ingenious design that really did change the face of golf. And in my opinion, it is. This, even though it was sold through infomercials, 
changed the face of golf in 1993. So for me, in my 90s set, I'm putting these in my 90s bag. Well, the PGA Tour doesn't allow them. Guess what? I'm not playing on the PGA Tour. I'm playing a 90s set. And I want to remember the 90s. And when I see these instantly, mid-90s, no question of amazing wedges. Alien Golf is still around. You can go visit their shops. Remember, these are used clubs. I paid for these with my own money. I'm not sponsored by Alien Golf. I do, however, have an Amazon shop. I'm going to see if I can find some Alien wedges to put on that shop. They're, they won't be this. They'll be the newer ones. Speaking of the Amazon shop, I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. And if you want to support this channel, you can either shop that Amazon shop or subscribe. It really helps out with the analytics. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.